Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we are able to successfully return redirect to our user to the SN dashboard when that will be the admin, it will be return redirect to our admin dashboard or only dashboard, right? Great. Now we have to do, we have to protect it because when you logging with the agent, like right now, I'm. Uh, if you go here, I show you what exactly the problem, like here, if you go to the dashboard, right now you can see I'm logging with the agent. Okay, agent will be able to access the dashboard because agent is also one of the user, right? So he will be able to access that dashboard. It's totally fine. But agent that not should be able to access the admin dashboard. Like right now, if you want to access that admin slash dashboard, click as enter. Now you can see he will be he is now able to access that admin dashboard. That should be not like that. And also here we have to now protect. If you go, I want to locking with the user. Like right now, I'm to logging with the user as a user at the rate gmail.com and 111. I'm logging. So, right now, I'm logging with the user. Right? User will be not able to access that agent dashboard. Like right now, if you want to access that agent slash dashboard, you can see he'll be, he is now able to access that agent dashboard and also he is able to access that admin dashboard. You can see that the admin dashboard is also successfully loaded. So that should be not like that. Here, if you want to protect it, we can actually protect it with using one of the simple middleware. Like if you want to create some of the middleware, if you go to that Laravel official website, and here if you go to that basic, into the basic area, that is the middleware. Now I want to do, I want to create one of the new middleware. Better I copy it. Okay, that is a PHP artisan make middleware, and that will be your middleware name. I want to open it like here after that sorry here that will be our php artisan make middleware i copy it and then here i paste it okay i want to create one of the new middleware and i just name that middleware as a role okay so this step whatever the name actually you choose right now i name it as a role so this step on the role middleware i want to create if you know click as enter now you can see then now it successfully created one of the new middleware as a role so role middleware you will get if you go to your project into the project area in your http that is also another folder as a middleware and here you can see that is the role.php so our first job is whatever the middleware you create our first job we have to do we have to register this middleware in our kernel okay that means here here there is also another kernel.php in particular this position first of all we have to do we have to register it like i want to I want register in our kernel.php into the kernel.php that is the middleware alices as a protected here now we have to do we have to add it so if you want to add it that will be just like the same better i copy it okay copy this one that is a default auth and as i told you before auth by this it will be check it user is locking or not so that is around the default middleware laravel actually using now i have created on the new middleware and which by which name you want to access it i want to access it by the name like as a role okay by the role name by this we can able to now access it so here in our app http middleware folder into the add http middleware folder i have created our file name as a role right so now that will be as a role so i simply load this class okay great make that sure you load uh, these things in your kernel.php now here we successfully register it or that middleware that i have created and now you can access that middleware by this name as a role okay great i click as a save all now it's totally fine now we have to work in our middleware that means here that is actually our middleware so in particular middleware area first of all i want to do to pass one of the parameter as a role okay i make it as a role this type of one of the parameter i simply pass it from to this area and then here before that return next request i want to do i want to take one of the if condition so that will be our if condition if condition great so into the if condition area here i have already get all that our default request data so here i want to do by this request okay by this request i want to access same our user in, in our user table field because here we have to actually protected everything by the role right so in our user table our field name as a role so i want to do to access it now that requested user and now by this requested user i want to do i want to access okay here that is a requested user i want to access that our field name as a role when this role will be not equal not equal equal our 
that is the our parameter i have passed it as a role when that will be as a not equal match then it's then it should be return redirect okay i want to pass the return return and then that will be as a redirect redirect okay redirect return redirect to the dashboard page okay so default dashboard page then that will be actually return redirect so i make it as a dashboard dashboard means if you go here by default laravel when you install that breeze package you can see that is the, our name as a our out name as a dashboard here it should be return redirect to the dashboard that is our name route i want to do i want to access that route okay that is route name great so here i simply pass it so now that will be actually protected and if you now go to that our save all like i want to do now by this uh, we can actually able to manage it that is our middleware name as a role and now by this i want to do and to protect if you go to our web into the web like that is actually our one here we have to protect it and also we have to protect our ad as in dashboard right so for the reasons here i want to do i want to create one of the a group middleware so if you create that group middleware that will be as a route and to the route area then that will be as a middleware okay middle middle w a r e middleware okay so that is our middleware and into the middleware area here i want to do i want to first of all it should be check okay first of all that will be check our default one default one in our kernel.php i have already discussed about that things with you like into the kernel.php laravel actually also provided another default one as a auth middleware and by this auth middleware it should be checked that user is locking or not okay by this i want first of all i want to do i want to check it so with this auth we can actually check it so i want to do to access that default middleware as a auth so it should be check user is logging or not okay and after this after this i want to do i want to add another one another one will be which one that i have created as a role that means i have also assigned another middleware as a role right here that is i have already registered it in our kernel.php as i told you if you want to access this middleware you can actually access it by this name as a role so now i want to do i want to access that role and with this role i want to do i want to access that means it should be checked that role is also should be as a admin okay so when this that will be user is a logging it should be check it fast and then also it should be check as a role should be as a admin when that will be as a admin then i want to do and to make that our route in our another group so that will be as a group and into the group area i want to call another function okay sorry that will be as a function so that will be as a function and function area here now i want to do and to call it great so that means right now that is our total middleware for the our role as admin that is the admin route now i want to do to cut it and here i want to protect it okay so now that will be actually protected i show you everything will be very clear to you like whether i put some of the note that is for the um, and group admin middleware Okay, good group middleware, great. And also I want to do the same things for the agent because here that is also as a slash agent dashboard. I want to create another group. I copy it and I paste it and also I want to close it. After that, I want to close it. So that will be for the agent. Okay, that is a and group agent middleware. Perfect. Right now that will be our role. Role will be, it will be check as a agent. So that will be checked as a agent and then that will be actually protected. Great. Perfect. So friend, now by this, we can actually able to protect it. I show you because here it should be now check it user is locking or not. Then it should be checked as a role as an admin or not. It should be also the same. It should be checked that as a locking or not and role as an agent or not. If this is not as agent, it should be then return redirect to our which page here it should be return redirect to the dashboard page right in our middleware i have already added this type of one of the condition now let's check this out if you now go i want to first of all go to the dashboard i want to go to the dashboard right now i am logging with the user right great so user will be now not able to access our dashboard that means admin dashboard if you now uh, want to access that as an admin slash dashboard click as a enter yes you can see you are not able to now access that our admin dashboard okay if you again want to check it slash admin dashboard it should be written redirect to the 
your dashboard and also if you now want to check with the agent i want to access that agent slash dashboard okay now click as enter yes you can see now you are also not able to access that our agent dashboard because here i have already protect both of these it should be checked that user is locking or not and also role as agent or not if this not agent then that will be returned redirect to the dashboard page so that the reasons you cannot able to access it and now also i want to check it with the agent like i want to logging with the agent at the red gmail.com and then password 111 now i'm successfully logging with the agent right if you now go to that as a dashboard into the dashboard area you can see i'm locking with the agent so now agent also not should be able to access our admin dashboard right now let's check this out if you now go and again want to check it the slash dashboard now click as enter yes you can see you are not able to access the admin dashboard that means right now they have the three particular dashboard uh, as a user dashboard as in dashboard and also admin dashboard and also user not able to access as in dashboard area user not able to access that uh, admin dashboard area and also agent is not able to access that admin dashboard area that means our total multi-user authentication system is successfully working right right now we can actually create different type of template for different type of um, dashboard so step by step we'll do a lot of work i hope you like it very much so here we successfully done that our multi-authentication system in our next video also i want to share another things with you like right now by default laravel breeze provided you have to log in with the email or the password so if you want to also log in with the email or by the name or by the phone number you can also logging at a time with three different things okay so how to do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video